Welcome to the video by DJ SPRC. We're back for Project Cherokee here. And before we continue, don't forget this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com. Check out the website, that's awesome. Now we're starting with one of the rails. Uh, you notice there is two. And the back is straighter and the front is curved. And you want to make sure your axial is faced this way here and not facing the opposite way. In the last video, we built up the battery tray here. There's one thing I forgot to mention, uh, a very important put in your strap. Because once it's on the rail, you won't be able to put her back. You'll need to remove from the, ra the rail, wow, <laughs> to put in your battery strap. Might be doable, but you can save yourself some a some, lot of headaches. Now looking here, we do have multiple screws here. But at step 31, you will need uh, the A115s and the A115s. There's one, and then there's the A113. There's one, two. One's countersunk. Two countersunk, that's for the physical, this guy here, and then you have two more here. The longer one goes in the physical bumper mount. Install that on it, and this goes right here. You'll notice on the physical bumper mount, there's one hole and one indentation sticking out. It has its place on the bumper itself. To make this easy on me. I'll use the drill itself. Now we're gonna bring the physical battery tray. Again, there is indentations that they go specific places. And for some reason, this one here doesn't want to cooperate with me. There we go. I put my screw on my driver here. <clears throat> Now, while you have it in your hands, verify if the two other holes here align perfectly. It, it does. Now, we're going to attach the shock mount and body mount at the same time. Then that's where the two other holes come in play. You'll have two countersunk. And this would be a perfect time to have multiple hands. Worst case, if you have somebody else that give you a hand, hold at the same time, could be helpful. Again, you don't want to put them too tight. I'm just going to finish it by hand once they're started. Now, if we jump at step 32 here, that's where you mount the cross brace part of the receiver tray, the back bumper mount, the other cross brace. What I'm gonna do here, and you mount the transmission at the same time, that's right here. I'm gonna go do what's in the back. That's these guys here. Pop in the bumper in the back. Again, it's the same thing as the front. There's one indentation that prevents it from moving. That's another one A15. Again, if you're not sure which screw you need, your book will tell you if you physically put the screw where it goes. Okay. 
<clears throat> Again, you don't want it too tight, because if not, you're going to strip it. Now I'm going to install the back brace, and the back brace goes with the shock mount at the same time. This is two cutter sunk screws. Put one on my driver. Now if you look here, you'll have the axial sign, and it's the first hole. Let's align that. Align this guy here too. And hoping we don't drop our screw. Let's use the driver, start it. Now I can hold it. There we go. Now, if some of you are wondering on what I'm using as a driver, it's a rigid, works great. It's a combo that I bought. Comes with a, a drill and an impactor. I think I paid a hundred bucks uh, Canadian at my local uh, Home Depot. And it's been serving me well in the hobby. And the, uh, the tips I'm using for it, it's MIP. They're awesome. Okay, now to go install our front brace that's integrated with the battery tray. Now you have to make sure to install it correctly by the picture you see like a whoop in it. The whoop meaning this. It goes right here. It's a little bit hard to see where it goes itself. Then you have your battery tray. And we need uh 31 373 just making sure i'm reading this correctly here hmm. that goes here that's going to be for your transmission mount a15s and for some reason, this guy here, I think these are the 2.5s, not sure. What, what I'm thinking I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for this one here. Because they, these guys can be screwed underneath here after. Because now basically what you need to do is to put your transmission at the same time. And this can be put after the fact here. And at the same time, gets uh, hold it off with the transmit the battery case, if I remember correctly. But this is where it comes a little bit uh, funky. <clears throat> now I do have another bag aside here for the rest of my screws. If you guys are wondering, basically, I just grab Ziplocs and I write the steps on it. That's why it's a lot easier. You, that's a step you guys can do too at the same time. If you want to take the time opening your book, labeling step 31 and grabbing all the pieces and put in one bag, or you could physically try it by yourself going through and finding the screws. I just find it easier by just finding everything in one shot. Now we do have our transmission right here. Always help when you put it in incorrectly. There we go. 
Again, it has an indentation to here that goes in between the axial logo. But sometimes they don't play nice. Like they're doing right now. There we go. Here we grab our receiver tray. Now you'll see this hole and this hole, they're empty. Put this guy here. Now we're gonna check the ones we need. The two single holes right here, it's the 115s. 115 right here. I'm just gonna screw this guy in. It physically holds everything in. Confirming with the book, I'm grabbing the correct screws. <clears throat> now the transmission itself, it's holding there. Now, 31, 373, I think that is my M2 by six. These guys here. And that's a 1.5. And where did I put my brace? It's right here. That's be where it becomes a little bit more tricky at the same time. I'm gonna start my screw in the hole. Pass it through the frame. And looking correctly, am I pointing, I'm pointing this upside down? Or am I? Sometimes it gets confusing. I was putting it upside down. I do apologize for that. I'll be showing you in a second or two here. There we go. Now, looking on top here, there's one place, one screw will go here to hold these two together here. Okay. Now, basically, instead of boring you guys with the rest, these screws here, you just follow the steps of your screws to bolt the rest of this guys here. This is done already. Once you've done this, we'll be able to jump onto the other step. If you have any comments or questions, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget, if you want to be notified next time I upload, hit that bell. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That's here in the corner here. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys.